UAB head basketball coach Jared Haas kind enough to join us here today ahead of a very, very busy week with the Conference USA tournament tipping off today already in action as we speak the women playing right now coming off a win in your regular season finale you've set multiple records this year including a single season record in program history i know you talked about it before and this team being special i know it's hard to compare one team to another but how proud of you these guys and able to accomplish what they've accomplished well i'm really proud of them and, and the biggest thing is that everybody has put uh, individual uh, accolades whether it's points rebounds assists off to the side as, as long as we, they know they're doing what's best for the team and everybody's put the team first and that as a coach that's a pretty special deal now the flip side of that is they are getting a lot of accolades now too whether it's all conference and things like that so but as a coach that's what you want to build is a culture of unselfishness and competitiveness and uh, that hopefully will uh, get us some momentum going into this tournament Speaking of records, you have four guys on the Conference USA all-conference list this year, which is a record. Robert Brown, William Lee, Chris Coakley, and uh, Nick Norton all on that list. I think a big factor with your team is every guy can go out there and play. They can defend and they can shoot, which gives you guys a lot of depth. How important is that, especially at this point in the season? I think it's big. The versatility, you know, ideally we'd play three games in three days. Now, obviously, we have to take care of the first one. But the versatility has been important for our team and the team success that we've had. You know, we don't have anybody in the top 20 in scoring in the league, yet we have four guys in the all-conference team, which shows that uh, there is a great deal of value to having a, a winning team and a championship team. And uh, I think the guys, again, are, are cut into what we're trying to do right now, but the versatility has certainly been a positive. Okay, I wanted you to take me through the week. Obviously, you guys play at noon on Thursday. You don't know your opponent yet, Western Kentucky or North Texas. What does preparation look like for that from here on out? We have two different coaches working on a scout for, for both those opponents, so that'll be completely done even before they play, and they'll play at noon on Wednesday. We'll go through a practice uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but Wednesday morning we'll do a short practice at Legacy Arena and then let the guys go as we watch the game, and then we'll get back together in the afternoon and, and have a scouting report and a short practice preparing specifically for whichever team wins. Now, you've played both of those teams. Western Kentucky handing you one of your five losses this season. You did get a big win over North Texas. What do each of those teams and the challenges they present? Well, the North Texas is uh, very, very gifted, uh, especially on the perimeter. They have a lot of different guys. And then they have a big guy, Combs, is as good of a rebounder uh, and scorer as there is in the league. And so a lot of versatility they can, they can put out there, with, especially their guards. And then uh, Western Kentucky, as you said, they're, they're one of the teams that beat us. They, uh, inside, they're a little bit undersized, but very physical. And so if we end up playing them, we'll have to be match their physicality and play extremely hard ourselves. This year there seems to be an added confidence that even when things get down to the wire you might be down a couple points. In terms of this point in the season when you're heading into the postseason what are those nerves like in the locker room? Yeah there's still a great deal of confidence and uh, but there I think the nerves are a good thing. I think there are some nerves and as we get to Thursday at noon I think there will be even more nerves but I think the team plays well when we have a little bit of an edge and um, you know there's a um, nerves the nerves that are present so the idea right now is that we are very confident but we're also very humble and appreciative of the spot we're in you've said this before and i love this quote that you used it's not about the destination it's about the journey and reflecting on that you guys have done a great job of that this year now that the end game is there a conference usa title and hopefully a bid to the ncaa tournament on the line how do you keep that in focus that it's still about the journey and it is you know and it's this week doesn't have to be the end of the journey. We can keep this thing going if we continue to play well. And uh, we've talked a lot about the process of going through practices and preparing ourselves in every game that we had, even this last Florida trip where it didn't mean anything in terms of the conference championship or seeding. Uh, we still talked about the process of trying to get better. And so the guys are bought into that idea of improvement every day. And it is, that's all part of the journey. And uh, the journey doesn't have to end this week and we're hoping it will continue. Would you say that your team is peaking at the right time? I think so. I think we'll find out. And I also believe, you know, once you get into tournament play, you build your momentum once you get into it. Uh, but I do believe we're mentally and physically healthy, knock on wood, and we continue that. And I think they're eager to play. So, And I think we're, we're playing well. We haven't played many great games. We've played a lot of good games, and I think we are trending the right way. You have a noon tip-off set for Thursday, which isn't necessarily ideal in terms of getting fans, those that might have jobs or other obligations. But we have this cool little release that essentially uh, is an excuse for those that decide to come out. Pretty clever idea. What made you come <laughs> up with this? Well, there's, uh, we have a great staff that has come up with some different ideas, and this was one of them trying to, uh, again, just have some fun with it, but give uh, employees and employers some 
uh, ammunition to have some fun and creativity and let people come out for a long lunch break for a couple hours on Thursday to come see us play. Do you think it's going to work? Absolutely. You're coming, right? I am. I was going to say <laughs> I might need an excuse, but I'm actually, my excuse is that I'm covering the game. So good. the good news is I'll have my, my credential, but I'll make sure I uh, spread the word. Spread the word for <laughs> sure. So certainly exciting there. And, and just how important it is it to get the fans? You guys have had tremendous crowd coverage this year at Bartow Arena you know, record setting crowds, how important is that? Well, the fan support is, it's huge for what we're doing. And we have had some success in Legacy Arena, but certainly in Bartow Arena, and uh, the crowds have grown throughout the year. But anything we can do to get the crowd as big as possible, as loud as possible, is a huge advantage for us. And uh, we were able to make the run three games in three days last year. We're gonna try and do the same thing this year. But we do rely on the fans to uh, give us energy and uh, hopefully we play well and, and give them reasons to cheer as well. But we believe that we're trying to do the right things and represent UAB the right way, but also Birmingham. And we hope that a lot of Birmingham people, whether they went to UAB or not, will come out and support the team. Okay, you heard it from Coach Hass there. He wants you at the game noon on Thursday. If you need this release, go to WIAT.com. You can give it to your boss. Hopefully they'll sign off on it. Of course, also check out the UAB women's basketball team. They are playing tomorrow at 11 o'clock, so it should be exciting. Thanks again, and best of luck. Thank you.